welcome back to our episodes i'm your host claire jalambi and this is episode five so we're gonna carry on from episode four i hope y'all tune in hey it was pretty pretty juicy you can catch interesting you can catch me on instagram at claire.ndh.ww Ooh, instagram there mm. <laughs> i'm here with my brothers and oh by the way if you didn't know this is the Mel V Family Pod. Oh, you yeah, know the vibes. Yeah, you know the vibes. Yeah, you know the vibes. I'm yeah. here with my brothers. Uh, my name is Wayne, and you can catch me on Instagram at Wayne underscore NDH. And my name is Mara. You can catch me on Mara Mot- Mara Mara Manus. That's my Instagram. Instagram. Okay. 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 Okay.
Uh, sure. I don't even know my way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Like, so we, we had some interesting, interesting discoveries yesterday of people who didn't even have Instagram mm-hmm. and stuff like that. In this that. episode, we're trying to remember. We couldn't remember ours. So, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, chill, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. funny how we always yeah. say our Instagrams every time we come in. But now, today, you know, something. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I guess if you want to plug it in, uh, if I do remember correctly, it's Matthew Charles, right? Something, something. I, We'll, we'll put it there we'll put it there somewhere you know what i'm saying but um yeah, yeah getting on to this is our topic for today uh we're discussing peer pressure dating om jolo and how social media relates to all of that so i guess the first question we'd want to ask you is have you ever experienced peer pressure in your life whether it's good or bad yeah definitely mm. everywhere school social event whatever it may be yeah yeah and, and, yeah and i guess for those who don't know matthew now is in his second year of university right wow, wow. i didn't even wow. know that yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro you like a brother to me how did i not know uh, uh, you don't know find out this is you i have your number but i don't text that. yeah man and i guess um uh, i guess a good question for you would be between high school and university would you say there's like the same level of peer pressure or it gets versus much more as you get into university uh well in high school the peer pressure is more i'd say you do it more quietly because like you're in high school right mm-hmm. but in university for example like simple things okay the smoking areas in university you know there's yeah, different yeah, types yeah. of things mm. And obviously, high high school, you're under eighteen, so like drinking and stuff. But out of school, everything's legal. So, <laughs> so I also wanted to ask you, like, um, has peer pressure influenced the way you pick up your relationships or how you interact within your relationships? Maybe on on romantic on the on, the, on a romantic level, um, how does social media influence? Uh, yeah, definitely. I guess like you can't really. Well, if you're SCA and stuff like that, you can't really go out for a drink with a girl or, like, go to a bar or, like... Mm-hmm. Definitely. You can. Hey. Like, it's not really the social setting you enjoy. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, also, bad. like, uh, for those viewers, like, Matthew is also Seventh-day Adventist, right? Who go to the same church. So how is it as a Christian boy? Like, how how's dating? How do you view dating as as being in the Seventh-day Adventist religion? Faith. Your faith, yeah. Uh, for me personally, I try, like, first of all, we all know it's like hard to find an SBA person to, like, be your partner or whatever. So yeah, I guess... Yeah, go back. What <laughs> I... Go back. Saturn is hiding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, 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 so... I just try and, like, look for similar values, I guess. Mm. And stuff that I would check with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then move from there. Okay, and I and I guess like the last question uh, relating to social media, um, with social media, would you say it's had a really big influence on stuff like, in fact, your life in general? You know, what I'm saying re- referring to peer pressure, how you how you dress and do things in life, what sports you like, and all that, and also for relationships, would you say social media has really played a big part in your life for that? Ah, uh, definitely. I guess. Online, you get a different perception of, like, relationships and all that. And when it comes to real life, it's hard to apply what you see online and stuff, Oof, especially I'm being actually, SBA. Yeah, 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 very true, very true, very true. Okay. So, uh, it is a big influence. And I guess online, they tend to glamorize things, but yeah, in real life, yeah. it's different. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, social media has been kind of negative, I guess, in the sense that, like, from the outside looking in, it looks more fun if we are just, like, or I'm just like, you guess, yeah, maybe it seems more boring just mm. going out for, like, a yeah. club or something. Very true. Yeah, man. Oh, well, thank you, Matthew, for your time here. It was really nice. It was really nice hearing your voice. It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. No problem, my guy. Very nice, my guy. Okay, you too. Good night. Good night, night, my guy. That was that was.
pretty okay, interesting. That was interesting. First person. Man. Interesting stuff. I guess the, the one thing I really liked from what he said was um, the us's view between reality mm-hmm. and social media or like what they put up. You know what I'm saying? Because what you see on the internet and stuff, you be like, oh man, that's nice. I want to do that. I don't mind to be like that. Yeah. But then in real life, it's not always going to be like that. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be flowers and roses, cookies and cream, however you want to put it. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be challenges, man. So that, that that was a really good point. And people won't show you even if they're going to you by time. At all. Yeah. They won't. They won't. Yeah. Yeah. They, won't. Yeah. they won't, On social man. media, they only post when they're having a good time. Exactly. So, for us, we should know that even if we have good times, they are better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're gonna be calling. I think. I think she's she, she's a cousin. Oh. Sh- Charmaine. Name, yeah. Charmaine. Okay. Yeah. We we'll go ahead and call her. Where, where, where is she living now? She's in the UK. Huh. And now, okay, this is the first person we had in UK. This is the first person. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because the other time we had a person from the UK, our cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no. like also from the from the states. Not from the states. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to mix it up, man. Before, just before you call. Yeah. Just before you call. Yeah, yeah. Another thought that I had, um, that you said, mm-hmm. that looking for someone with similar values and stuff yeah, yeah. to the Seven Day Adventist faith. Mm-hmm. So that also brings me back to last episode. Mm. I don't know why I didn't say it, but at the time, you know, it was heated. So I'm like, okay, let me keep it for the <laughs> okay, next yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, we we'll see. Same thoughts. Eh? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I feel like it's it's a good thing to look for someone with similar values. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just that alone. I mean, they might not be fully into the Christian faith, but I mean, over time, over time, you learn something about each other. Mm-hmm. They can learn something about you and you can... They can basically grow their faith more just by you two communicating. Mm. So I feel like looking for someone who has similar values. You can both build the You can build, build, build each, each other. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Both yeah. That's, that's true. Yeah, 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 that's, that's the point that I had. And I guess just to okay. bounce off mm. um, just before you call, it also mentioned how in, you mentioned in the previous episode from that text that we got from uh, Andrew how you mustn't be unequally yoked. Mm-hmm. Which is something else you mentioned. Looking for someone who has the same values, just like what you yeah. mentioned. So I guess that's another thing I just want to do, put in there. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. For sure. Yeah. so let's let's give a call. I think this is going to be interesting because <laughs> she's she's married. Yeah. Really? So she'll give us a point of view when she was a teenager. Like, Before teenager. she got to the marriage Hello. stage. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you guys. Okay, sure. That's good. So, on the table, I have Ryan, Claire, and Wayne. Hello. 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 <laughs> I hope you can hear them clearly. Yeah, I can hear them. Okay, so I'll right. hand you over to Claire. She has some questions to ask you. So, so our episode today is based on how social media influences dating and um, peer pressure. So, in South Africa, we have this term "njolo," right? And it's it's, it's an it's an informal slang word for acts of dating. So, I wanted to know: Do you have any any words in the in the UK which also can relate to "njolo"? Wait, can you say that question again for me, please? Do you have any words that also um, that also sound like mjolo? Because mjolo is an act of dating. So do you have any words in UK that are used in terms of for mjolo? Or dating. Yeah, uh, dating. Yeah. We would refer it to as linking. So I'm linking a Z from down the road. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, we didn't know. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Got people linking and that you feel me? Yeah, in, in the UK. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you said it right. You said it so perfect. Oh, thank you. Like, I've been practicing. So like, maybe so, one day when I come over. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> see you. We see you. We see you. We see, see, see you. We see you. Going international. Yeah, yeah. International. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we also wanted to know, um, what what's your views on peer pressure, and how social media influences that. What, how does peer pressure influence dating? No, how does social media influence peer pressure? 
Um, I think, especially in today's society, um, it plays a big, big role um, mm. in you know what we do and, and in people's perspective because you have the likes of like Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. And I think today's society, what we see portrayed on social media is what we want to be like when we're dating somebody. Mm. So, mm-hmm. if, if, let's say if a guy takes you to the most, uh, a celebrity takes somebody that they're dating to the most expensive restaurant, yeah. you know, that's the type of expectation that you see from both females, not just females, but females and males. You know, if you take mm. someone to somewhere like Nando's, it's not good enough. They want to go to somewhere where they're going to spend a lot of money. Of course, you can't yeah. do someone to none of that. Oh, yeah, but that's a date. It's, <laughs> in, it's in your budget, my guy. It's in your budget. Don't, don't force. No, no, no but, but then none just... Hey man, for someone KFC, it's a good date. Yeah, KFC especially. Even McDonald's Day with the Come big on, neck. Man. The quarter pounder. Don't go out your budget. You, 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 you're being dead. Okay, yeah. You're crying. Negative five. <laughs> Yeah, but no, so very true. I wanted true. to ask, have you ever had any positive um, experiences with peer pressure? To me? Yeah. Um, not any that I can think of on the spot, you know. Mm. But, but, okay, fine. If you can't uh, that, have you ever influenced someone positively? Um, yeah, I think one one of my good, good friends, actually, or I wouldn't say one of them, I'll say quite a few of them. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't want to sound too, what's the word? I don't want to sound too cocky, but I feel <laughs> yeah. at the stage that I feel, um, mm. you know, like I'm in the process of almost getting married. Mm-hmm. Um, we've hey been married girl, we this. see you. We, we, we get it. You know I'm saying it's, it's something <laughs> that we... Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's something that you don't really hear much of in this generation. Getting married, man. Yeah, hey, it's yeah. a joke nowadays. Mm. So that's good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, 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 it is a lot. So mm. I think, you know, quite a few people, not just from my side, but I also think from my fiance side, they look at us as, um, you know, sort of like their goal or something that mm. they want to achieve in life as well. And like okay. what you guys said, especially in today's day and age, there's not a lot of young people who are, you know, who are getting married because, yeah. again, what we see on social media, a lot of people don't value being married the way that it was valued mm, years yeah, back. Yeah, so, definitely. So dating is seen so much higher than actually getting married to somebody. Mm. Um, them being together you know and starting a family you know building towards looking at the bigger picture and stuff yeah yeah for sure you know thank you so much for your time hey. thank you so much man you're welcome <laughs> and we're wishing you luck and abundance and blessings with your, with your marriage, marriage. Thank- and you know we'll be waiting for that invitation, guys. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget we're waiting, for, for, waiting for, for that invitation. Yeah, for the UK for the for the wedding <laughs> and the pictures too, just so you can post on the st- on the socials. Sorry, say that again. And the pictures too, so we can post on the socials. Eh? We, we we can't just go to a uh, wedding and be like, "There's no content." <laughs> exactly, ah, yeah. we need content. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to you guys bringing your links as well, yeah? So mm, maybe sure. you bring your links. Definitely. <laughs> mm, we're bringing them. We're bringing That's if them. they're there. That's if they're there. God willing, they will be there. Over there. <laughs> yeah, no, but thank you so much, Shami. Thank you so much for joining us. No worries. It was lovely speaking to you guys. Lovely right. speaking to you too. Enjoy yourself. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, we're just coming from the UK. Are you there? <laughs> we're like a banter. Yeah. Like, Bruh, like did you hear she like said man's accent is like good. She said you said it my wow. Wow. Yeah, my, my fiance. Yeah, man. Guys, <laughs> I'm, I'm about to get married. I'm about to get married. <laughs> I'm about hey to man, get married nah, in Manchester. <laughs> One week of being there, we're coming back speaking like that. We're <laughs> <laughs> singing trolls. <laughs> no, man, that was um, really interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, someone is getting married, man. Mm. She, That's she's big. The first it's person actually to come That's, to the podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. and get married. Yeah. It's big, man. It's, it's, it's the first time I'm hearing someone close to me say fiance. Really? Oh, oh fiance. Really. No, it's, 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 all it's all we know about is that they're getting married. <laughs> 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 it's, a, it's 
about my boyfriend. You know, no, I was like, my boyfriend said this. Mm. Uh, my boyfriend bought me this. You know? mm. She's like, fiance. fiance. Mm. The word fiance mm. is next, unknown. Next, next, next husband. <laughs> yeah. My husband. My husband. Said. <laughs> No, no, but everybody wishing them black hair. Hey, no, but I mean, that was really um, nice, cool. And how she mentioned that was the, she's become sort of um, a model mm. or a model to her friends and those mm-hmm. who look at them mm-hmm. saying what they're doing is something really big because marriage is not yeah. a joke, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's also joke. mentioned from the point that I said a lot of people don't really look at it mm-hmm. or value it. Um, like what it used to maybe in many of our parents' days back in the eighties or whatever, those Ooh, who were born yeah, then. Yeah. Like marriage was the, the serious thing, man, and now it's not really that big. No, it's not really a thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean I mean it is in some traditions, hey. Yeah. Young girls are still getting married. Traditions, but do they really value it? You know what I'm saying? I mean dating it, dating is taken as marriage. I mean people yeah, nowadays be dating for years. Years. ten years plus, man. Staying in the same house. Mm, and sharing the same bed you room. Ask, are you ask, are you married? Because no, yeah, back dating. in the day, is marriage is this value that it had. Because yeah. when, when you hear people that are getting married, you, you see the whole community will come. Everyone. Everyone, because it mm. is. But, yeah. but now, nowadays, if you're getting married, you see your friends. Your friends will pull up. Your friends. Because for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so our, our third person was um, Bobby. 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 Yeah. So he was unable to be on a call with us tonight, but oh. it's okay. He sent a voice note. That's like about ten minutes here and there, mm-hmm. roughly. Mm-hmm. So let, let's hear what he had to say. Um, greeting to everyone, and I uh, hope you guys are well and fine. Yeah, the topic about pressure and uh, and teenage dating it seems to be the trending topics it is uh, when it comes to young people. Um. In short, I've got some few uh, things that I will say to answer your questions. It says, what your view on peer pressure? Peer pressure does not have age. Mm. Peer pressure does not have age. Uh, people who are young, you know, you do get pressure when you're in primary school. When either some of your friends are wearing all stars or Nike or Adidas, you also want to wear the similar brand that young people are wearing. Sometimes they are, the reason why you don't wear it is because of the means. Yeah. You don't have the means to wear because probably your parents cannot afford, uh, but they can try something else, etc., etc. In high school, there's also peer pressure. Um, where you see other people are dating and no one is approaching you and you feel like you're ugly or you feel like you don't have a style or you don't have what it takes. I, th- I think just, just, just to pause there, he really does say a valid point about high school where you feel insecure because you have nobody. Mm-hmm. Like no, yeah. no one's coming to ask you out. <laughs> That's a point that I heard that when you said maybe when you feel like you're ugly, when you feel like no one is coming to you, when you mm. feel like you don't have... Someone yeah, who's has no age. Age. Hey, that was all the one. Powerful. Beginning even. Has <laughs> no age. <laughs> no, man. has no age, bro. Mm, something really strong. Mm-hmm. And I feel like not, not, this thing of Mjolo and dating does bring a lot of insecurities. Mm. Yeah, it does. And, and yeah. You def- more, uh, most definitely, man. Because, wait, let's, let's be honest. When you see someone, some people posting up on their relationships, right? Of course. You'd be like, I want that too. I want that too, <laughs> and you don't have that. Mm. So yeah, I think. Or not even like when when you break up now mm-hmm. with that person, you'd be mm-hmm. like, what did I? What? How, where was I not enough? Where? Like, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you start to question yourself. Yeah, yeah. like. Did I mess up or was it my fault? Mm. <laughs> and stuff you know what I'm like saying? that. So hey, you're powerful man. Powerful, yeah. Hey, yeah. powerful. Let's see what else he has to say. Yeah. Mm. This is the same thing as well. Some students, they come with cars because their fathers, they are giving them cars to drive cars at the university. Some of them, they are wearing expensive, exclusive brands they would like to wear, but due to un- different backgrounds, you cannot wear or drive the cars that they are driving. Mm-hmm. Even at the workplace when you are working, you also have pressure where a person that you started with he has been employed to a different company or a friend, yeah, which gives you. Stop. Le- pressure has no age. 
he explains it there mm. at work right you start with someone same stage but mm. eventually this person goes to a different level mm. promotion mm. that you get pressure I know even I feel like we would bring this down even to the school level mm-hmm. you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying um you both start off with sports you play in the A team together the A team yeah. or no even let's say you play in the B team together fine then you both get promoted to A but now your friend gets a scholarship to go to some sports school or some or to, let's or say if it's club, soccer or yeah, yeah, to a better club and you know yeah. yeah. and now also now you're, you're like eh man I, I need pressure to go the, but the work exactly. one definitely because I remember one, back yeah? at school I used to get teachers telling me about stories where their neighbors would compete in buying cars some parents compete <laughs> friends tell me man <laughs> guys pressure sh- pressure for stealing in their children whose child chases like oh. where's the best clothes ah, yeah, yeah. now they're buying new with the toy getting <laughs> 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 money <Gucci. laughs> guys <laughs> yo hey, like i saw some other kid on twitter the last time saw the girl um yeah in sa yeah. she for the first day of school right matric i think it was last year if not this year mm-hmm. so Yeah, already kids are getting that thing pressure to get their licenses right yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so you can drive at school you know what I'm saying got that state I'm driving you get it to school mm-hmm. let's go pulls up in a Porsche hey. Louis Vuitton bag and what else did she have I think she had um, <coughs> there was like some I forgot the other bag but guys in SA man we're talking about Louis bro Louis driving a Porsche <laughs> to school wasting your money and I imagine how the other kids are going to feel yo She has that. She so has now what do and, and when you're driving a Kia, we can't do it. <laughs> 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 you also, <laughs> you also <laughs> feel pressured, man. You Even a bike. Like, you're you're riding a bike. Riding a bike, <laughs> riding a bike <laughs> my man. You're taking a bus to school. Taking a bus to school. Okay. Don't even got no license. Mm. Nothing. No but, bike. Hey, the pressure no is real. Can't do. It is <laughs> no <real>. Nike. <laughs> no Gucci. <laughs> no Louis. Hey, no brand. No brand. It's just you. <laughs> It's just you in the bag and the mm, school yeah, uniform. No, yeah. The pressure is serious. Yeah, so serious. So, so that's what else you have to say. I think you should like keep it short though. Because like this has, the guy has many points. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, you can also filter that into the next episode. Hey, we really, um, really can. Good, and maybe we'll be available for a call then. Because, yeah. We'll see. We'll even go bring him on one of these days, man. He's yeah. available. Mm-hmm. He's a busy man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a busy man. I'm going to give him that. So let's hear. And what your friend is getting and as a result you find yourself buying a car that you cannot afford uh, because you also want to be in sync or in par with the friend that you grew up with or your ex who dumped you and then you buy you <laughs> bought a bmw and you also want to show that boyfriend ex of yours that you are also doing it okay. it can, can also can be comes in terms of you, get, mm. you see you say you end up doing something that you don't want to do because of peer pressure oh, you can't getting afford. a car you can't afford, can't afford. just afford, imagine yeah, yeah. for <laughs> as i said wasting money <laughs> being just broke to, is a problem hey, just to compete hey, yeah. and i guess also one thing i'm just seeing from here quickly is um peer pressure sometimes can also uh bring out the pettiness in people mm-hmm. 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 just because your ex left you know you want to buy that bm how As well, you see all your friends are getting married. And as your friends are getting married and also you feel like you are getting old and you are not getting married and no one is approaching you, you start doubting yourself and blaming yourself that you no know, maybe there's something wrong about me and blah 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 you know even when you are older and you have children you know when you see children of your friends that you grew up with they go to certain schools they speak bet- better english they articulate better than your children and then you decide to take your children to the school that you cannot afford because you also want when you are gathering as parents you also want to say something about your child and say he got A's and then i decided he got a scholarship or and now he's you know um um he's studying where and where and where and where so peer pressure it's something that will be there to your life until you die now the only thing that will make you to be distinct is to be reasonable to yourself mm. i know pressure a uh, pressure uh, suppresses beyond reasonableness that we have it's so powerful that it makes your logic unstable that you cannot speak against the pressure i think on this point he really 
really does touch on um, mental health. Mm. I think in, in mm. our next in our next um, episode, we should also touch on that. Yes, yes. You know, mental health in terms of peer pressure, and you know, also dating because it really can leave some some emotional scars within it does, you, it does, and it takes it time to to heal. Yeah. So it really does touch on it. It must be subconscious in your mind that if you cannot afford something, don't buy it. Mm-hmm. You know, if all your friends are dating and you feel like you're not dating, it is not your time for you to date. Mm-hmm. If all your friends, you feel like now they they are having feelings for people and, and you know, and you feel like, no, I've not reached that stage, don't succumb to it because everything has its own time. Uh, 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 in life. So the reason why sometimes we make wrong mistakes because we succumb to pressure. So in life, learn not to succumb in pressure, whether financially or emotionally or romantically or physically, whatever it might be. Be able to speak to yourself daily. Be able to speak to yourself daily and say, look, I choose not to succumb to this pressure. I choose not to Uh, force my mom to buy things that she cannot afford. I choose not to date because I don't think I've reached that stage where I'm able to date. I choose not to. You subconsciously daily, whether you are asleep or you are walking on the street and pleasure is there and the reality says I have to do this, you must pray that you must not succumb to pleasure because pleasure has consequences if you are succumbing to it. I think we should end it there because like it's a pretty pretty long voice note and there's many good points we just want to save up save the moment you know save the moment you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah, for sure i mean i mean like he speaks really powerful points Mm -hmm. honestly as he also i think it has something um a toc with the youth or something like that i'm not really really sure there's a point that i i got when he said time will come for you Mm, pray, it? On yeah. it. Pray, pray on, on it. Pray on it. Yeah. You see, um, I think it's my brother. Yeah, it's my brother. He always says, "There's a time that you get that you is yours. Mm. Don't like when you you see some people having money, good clothes, mm-hmm. good cars. Everything to them is just so so perfect. Mm. No, it's not like your time is not going to come. Your time is going to come and you're going to shine." <laughs> you're going to shine, shine. Like yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you're going to shine, shine like a star. star. Yeah, you yeah, see, yeah. so for the viewers who are out there and to you guys, this pastor say, time is going to come for you. Yeah. Yes. Don't force yourself to do things that you can't do. Because if you force, it seek to <sighs> end. Very fast. You, <laughs> you, can, you fast. can't force winter to come. Uh, 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 yeah, you can't. Who likes winter, guys? If you like winter out there, you're a different breed. <laughs> guys, but listen, yeah. winter is nice. Especially when you're on holiday. This, when you're, uh, but like, now we're going to school and then you must wake up in the morning. Ah. Uh, me, I can't relate. Okay. okay. <laughs> Those blankets are nice. We go for round two. We also get there. One day, one day, one day. As you okay. remember, there's this time where I was, I was up. Then I check, when, 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 are you up? I was like, yeah. I was like, I think I need to go for round two. Round like, two. Yeah. 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 <laughs> as, as we have round two of lessons. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think we have three, three rounds of lessons. In the morning, then it's break. Then the next, second round, break. <laughs> mm. Third round, at yeah. the time you're yeah, yeah, tired, you're not go home. Yeah, but time will come for we'll you. Get yeah, sure. We'll get there. We'll get there. You'll get there. Like, you'll like, get there. Like it has its the, season. It's the song by, by, by Boys to Men. I will get there. Yeah, you will get there. You get there. You'll just get there somehow. Somehow. Cross yeah. that You'll river. Cross that river. That's true. That's true. Mm, Nothing sure. stopping me now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I guess I'm um, just to add from what he said, or not, mm-hmm. just like a few points that I wrote down from what he said is be reasonable with yourself. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And like um, the other one was everything has its season, like we just mm-hmm. mentioned. Mm. And then on the on the, also, on the actions you must take, it's don't succumb to pressure. Every day, sub- us is subconsciously tell yourself, you know, what I'm saying, I'm not gonna do, I'm, I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna fall for it. You know, yeah. what I'm saying, keep telling yourself the same way you motivate yourself to do something. Yes. Even if it's something wrong, you will find every reason to do it. You yeah, know, what I'm saying. Sure, for sure. So the same way for you to stop, find every reason not to do it. Tell yourself, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. And the other one I really liked was, um, pressure makes your logic unstable. Ooh. Man, I like that Pressure point. Strong, strong. Mm-hmm. Pressure crazy. makes your logic. He did logic. it on the spot, hey? He, he hit it the on the spot. The man is loaded. 
pressure makes your logic unstable guys mm. <laughs> that speaks for itself <laughs> it just, like he even mentioned pressure will be there for the rest of your life until you die yeah mm. pressure has no age bro. it has no it age has no age so don't think just because you've gone through your teenagers that's it uh uh-uh. uh no you can never give pressure there. when you're old mm. so sorry. sorry charlie but there's more to come <laughs> sorry charlie <laughs> so yeah, so so yeah. we've got another pasta mm. our uncle pasta Mackenzie Kambisi mm. all in the all the way yeah. in the United States so, so okay, let's go back to the States <laughs> go back to the States the American dream buckle up buckle up <laughs> you're flying you're flying you're flying alright yeah. so, so, so let's yeah. give him a call Hello, 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 hello. How are you? How are you, Clay? Doing good. How are doing good? How are you doing? I'm uh, fantastic. Well, we hope we hope that in, in the in the United States is going very well. It's going very well. I'm honored to get a call from you, the great one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure's mine. Pleasure's mine. Oh, uh, that's good. That's good. What's up? Yeah, so um, today's episode is how social media influences peer pressure and dating. So in, in South Africa, we have this term called mjolo, which is um, the act of dating. So I wanted to know in America, do you guys have a term that is used for also act of dating? The act of dating, I think I use uh, hooking up, you know, let's hook up. I'm surprised uh-huh. you know. Uh-huh. I, I thought you want to bring a, a older, old term from the 90s. Come on, man. Girl, my lord. You're right, you're right. I'm trying to keep it step with you, you know? <laughs> uh, you got to keep in touch. You can't fall behind. You got to come fall behind. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can't. Mm. So, yeah. so I wanted to ask, um, what's your view on peer pressure um, within teenagers and in youth? Come again. What's your view what? on peer pressure within the teenage realm and youth? I think I think I think you know peer pressure now for your, for for the teenagers is really rotten because your world is broader. Mm. Than uh, yeah, than the previous generation, you have become a global village. Uh, so sometimes your pressure comes out of context, but because of exposure, it, it's really huge right now because your heroes, your models, are global. Yeah. So so the peer pressure thing is really huge, and the social media exposing everybody. Um, what everybody's doing the taste good, which is not uh, lived every day good. Yeah, it's really a big thing now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very true. Mm-hmm. And also on the other topic of dating, how do you feel about it? Do should do you think dating at a young age, of say fifteen, sixteen, is a good age to date, or do you think we should start dating when you're older? I, you know, I, I prefer. Uh, I, I think dating is a very heavy term, mm-hmm. and it comes with a very deep commitment. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. So I think when you are younger, you 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 are using a heavy term lightly. <laughs> so so yeah yeah so 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 I I'm you know so what you're trying to say is I want you to be my special friend, mm. but the moment you say i want us to date mm. now it goes to a place wh- where you're not even committed to go yeah. so i am for the advice of you know get friends if, you know when you're younger get to know people whatever but the dating part i prefer the, the older the better mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah the older the get. you can still by the way you can still get the same that same experience uh, with a, with a friend as as you would get when you are dating. Okay. It, it's only that, yeah. It's only that dating comes with a greater responsibility. 
Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, I'm the only person, I'm the only person you're talking to, nobody else you're talking to. So when you are young, the, you need to be exposed to see how other people think without that responsibility of you as a singular person that I am, I am talking to. Mm. Mm. But now those are really some powerful points, man. Yeah, I really appreciate yeah, that. Like, powerful, I guess man. the one I love the most was when it was like pressure out of context. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 no, that's you know, deep. you know, one day we need to fly you in and put you live, and put you yeah. live on the podcast. Not even fly, man. You can do Zoom, uh, yeah. international, man. Yeah. Come on, connect you from home. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need to see. But I, I miss these big old hugs. I miss them. <laughs> but I guess um, one more question be before before you leave is um, for you, would you say peer pressure or whether it's good or bad has really built you up to be the person you are today? I think you know. Um, I, th- I think with, with, you know we we always look at peer pressure negatively, mm. um, but I think there's a positive side to it. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, when when it is balanced, it actually motivates you to dig deep and and go beyond where you would have gone without without that positive competition. Mm. You know. Um, yes, yeah, it only gets bad. Yeah, it only gets bad when it's on the extreme. Mm. But in the balanced world, you need that because you know you, because the only people that you judge yourself by are people who are within your your season, your context, your sphere. And so, to me, I think there was an element of peer pressure that actually inspired me to be who I am. Mm. Okay. But that was the that was the positive side. Yeah. Mm. So, so in other words, I mean, you know, you look at someone who's your age, maybe let let me just talk to you guys, you know, and they're driving. You know, mm-hmm. and they're 16. Uh, you know, that's good peer pressure right there. Like, I need to be dry. Mm. <laughs> hey, I didn't get my license. I, I need that license exactly. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, somebody works at the mall or they have a job, and, and you're like, wait a minute. I, I need to get a job. job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Money. yeah. Or, or, yeah. So, yeah. Or someone is dating someone who is, you know, you're like, oh, I think I need to update my, you know. So, <laughs> so there's a positive side. There's mm. a positive side to it. As with anything, too much of anything, you know, they say in Malawi, they say too much sugar makes bad tea. Mm. Yes. Okay? It just becomes sweet. Right. There's no more flavor. So, yeah. It becomes sweet. Yeah. So... So the, a balanced thing is good. A balanced thing is good. You need your peers to, even in school, man. I mean, when your friend who was, used to play around starts getting A's and stuff like that, that's peer pressure right there. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to study. I'm going to read. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to uni. Why? Because, oh, no, this person cannot go to uni and I don't go to uni. <laughs> so thank God for positive. For, mm. Yeah, thank God for positive uh, peer pressure. Yeah, we'll mm. be so I, I can say it has really impacted me to be where I am here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks for that. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and I'll say this. And I'll say this. One of the guys who also kind of, it's like you look at your dad, your father. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. When he was when Good he was example. at the UZ, when he was at the Uni- you know, University of Zimbabwe, you know, that inspired many people to want to go there. Mm. Okay. I guess we'll have to question him <laughs> on that one day. <laughs> you, 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 yeah, you get what I'm saying. Your mm. mom and so, so, so really, I think what we do, we make everything look, you know, because of the bad side of things, we become too cautious. Mm. You know, yeah, we become too cautious. But but there's a there is there's a, a powerful side of peer pressure, yeah. Yeah. You, you yeah. really brought some some powerful points to the table. And really, thank you for that. Hey, we really, really do. Yeah, yeah. It, it, to... I mean, like, it's like when, when, when you did your video um, about the violence in South Africa and all that kind of stuff. You, yeah. you, you, you know, the video you did. I mean, you don't know what kind of you know uh, great peer pressure you put on every kid. Um, that's true, that's you know, true. who didn't have a voice mm. and yet they have a mom. Mind. Yeah, so so I think another word when, with, that we can produce from peer pressure is really you can become a model because you have positive peer pressure. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Becoming a model. That, 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 yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's what that's what a model is. 
You know, a model puts peer pressure on you. It's only that mm-hmm. theirs is positive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, really, yeah. Our, our time is, is coming to, to an end. But b- b- before you go, I want to okay, introduce you, you to, to the panel. So I've got here Ryan, Wayne, and our cousin brother, Maranatha. I just want to say hi. <laughs> I mean, More like now we sing hi because it's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, <laughs> how are you, no, how are you yeah. great people? <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. We're just busy sitting here writing down all the stuff that you said to us because yeah. hey, it was it was a lot no, of man, I, stuff. I, mm-hmm. stuff. I I can't wait, man. I'm I'm coming to South Africa this year. I will be seeing you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. For yeah, sure, you're yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. not you cannot leave without <laughs> getting on the set. There's no way. Uh, <laughs> but you know, there, man. There's no way I can pass through without no, 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 no. no you can't no. bypass that one. But thank you, <laughs> thank you for the privilege. I appreciate you guys. Uh, no oh, problem. Sure. Also thank appreciate you, you for giving us time. Thank you. Thank you. All, right. All right. Enjoy okay. the rest of your day. Bye bye. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Bye. bye. All right. That was some great points. Hey. Two pastors. Hey. Hey. Pastors are coming with them. It is on fire! Fire! <laughs> yes, I think we'll just. I think we'll just have to give the pastors their own little segment. Yeah, mm. because mm. these guys are no dead. Yeah, a lot of so things to talk about, guys. It's like it's become a global village. I mean, mm. the man is not lying. Like I said, we grew up with social media. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Our contenting people, cousins in the UK, US, wherever you name it, Australia, wherever they are, global village. Pressure out of context. Mm-hmm. Another thing you really mentioned that I loved. Mm-hmm. Social media exposes everybody, both the good and bad. Exactly. Mm. I, I think we saying. mentioned that before on the last episode. Did we? About, about um social media, you can get good things. Oh yes, yes, yeah? yes. And you get you get bad things on social definitely. media. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask, Grand, have you ever like what what points did you get from here? Like from from the pastors, those who called in. Make friends with yourself. I mean that's that's one of the points I got, mm-hmm. and um. That everything has its own season. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everything so true, has so its true. own season. You just have to wait and be patient. Be, uh, mm. be patient. Don't rush things. Don't be pressured to do things mm. you don't want to do. It will come in time. That was another point. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for me, I think that's the strongest point yeah. I got from the, everyone that we have been yeah. Are you also waiting for your time? When the right girl comes along. Okay. Most definitely, you have to wait. Because <laughs> if you don't wait, it <laughs> won't be there. This is something that I got from, from, from Pastor. Mm-hmm. When when he said, us as teenagers, we're now using the, the term dating in a wrong way. <laughs> a heavy, we're using a heavy term a heavy lightly. Because lightly. Mm-hmm. we're supposed to say, can you be my special friend? But instead, you know what I'm saying? my girlfriend <laughs> or my boyfriend. Come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> come let's date and mm. dating comes with more responsibilities it as does, you said it does. there's a there's a saying that said great power comes with great responsibilities yeah, yeah exactly. with great power comes with yeah, 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 yeah. with great Spider-Man power comes with yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so i think something great you need to have great responsibilities dating mm. yeah. Most definitely, yeah. and i guess also sorry to cut mm-hmm. you off there but to add to that point mm-hmm. where um what's this, we use a heavy term lightly mm-hmm. with that also you're not ready to get committed to that kind of relationship yeah. you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying because you say can you be my girlfriend and you, you know you don't even have the stuff you're not loaded with the mm. us's knowledge or whatever girlfriend. to get into that kind of relationship you don't even know how to take care of her hey. you, to be my <laughs> you, you don't even, you can't even buy a house for her or anything let's not even start with a house you can't buy your siblings something now you want to buy a girl you can't, some can't, buy them Guys, if you can't spoil your family yeah. if, if, if you can't spoil yourself like they said love yourself before you love others yeah. mm. if you can't spoil yourself and then your family don't expect to spoil others out there man how can you don't spoil you when you can't buy me Peggy King. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's be honest. Oh, come on, someone come who's, on, who's slept in the same house as you. For years or nine. Oh, come on, man. And you I, like, and I, 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 girlfriend, you should not for a month. You're begging her chickens, <laughs> flowers, food. Come on, come on. Yeah, but that was that was so powerful. It was. Oh, yeah. and I guess another point mm-hmm. just make, before make, we make, make it short, bro. Like, nah, it's like, quick. Don't worry. Uh, I got everything written down, prepared. Yeah, knowledge, yeah. knowledge is coming. Um, what's this? Too much sugar. Makes tea bad. And where's that from? 
Malawi. So oh. as they say in the uh, Marawi. 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 Shout out to all my Malawians out there, you know what I'm saying? Down Here in the comments. Your drop your flag. Yeah, drop your yeah, flag yeah, on yeah, my yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that point was powerful. Too That's much powerful. sugar makes tea bad. Now, what is your point of view on that line? Too much sugar. Too much sugar. You didn't make a good point there. Mm. If, if, I mean, for the people who have tried it. Yeah. <laughs> Putting too much sugar <laughs> in your tea. Yeah. Makes it bad. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's very bad. It's not even yeah, yeah. tea. Yeah. And I guess you could also ask us, give us like maybe something you can think of like when, so, when you have too much of something. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You don't enjoy it anymore. Exactly. Mm. Too much homework. <laughs> <laughs> you don't nah, enjoy it. That one is learning where you learn something new. <laughs> but I guess for Ryan, since for those who, who do know Ryan, he's a gamer. And I, yeah, and I know yeah. for sure that the times we do game, there's times where we just get tired. Because you've been playing too much, man. You can't yeah. play too much games. You, you can't do something uh, too uh, long. Uh, for too long. Even, even when you're driving. You can't uh, drive for... You for, can't. You, eventually, you get tired. You're like, randomly, you just stay, stop the car. <laughs> 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 I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Man. Uh, super, like, guess, oh, the time has come to an end. Mm-hmm. Time to wrap this up. Was, this was, like, one, another nice episode. Eh? Mm. Getting other people's intel on, on the topic. And eh, we yeah. should really do more of this. One day, you must have them live. Live with us. Come. Yeah, yeah. Zoom meeting. Most definitely, they will come. They will come. Okay. Yeah. Even live in prison, you know, talking, dab up, show, you know, dab up. <laughs> hey man, we'll see. Just we'll see. stay we'll tuned. See stay tuned. Mm-hmm. 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 Do you guys have any motivation or any any other things you want to add, but not too long? Because we all know we have knowledge mm-hmm. in the, in the mm-hmm. candles. Mm-hmm. So any other motivation? Any reflections? I must stay with that on too much sugar makes tea bad <laughs> ah, i'm staying with that <laughs> too much sugar it's going on the status yeah, it's going on the status so, it's so, yeah, yeah, on my yeah, socials yeah, yeah. in my bio <laughs> it's, going, yeah. it's going no man too much sugar makes tea bad mm. too much of something is not good yeah, uh-huh, yeah. i think you know in our next episode our topic for once again it's going to touch on the mental mental side effects of this mm. Mm. Yeah, we're not going to mm. mentality and i think we can give that up that that a call because it works with uh, public we're, health it's, it's good mm. or even put them on the set <laughs> we're going deeper Going deeper, 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 yeah, deeper, 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 Right. and you want something great mm. you should work hard mm. trust me if you work hard you get that great thing that greater value you get it after working hard so mm. that's what i can yeah. say for tonight for today and what about you um i mean all i can say right now is being with god mm-hmm. doesn't mean you'll be all flowers and roses come on Mm. There will be hardships mm. to build you to what mm. he wants you to be. Mm. Yes. This mm. Mm. was not made out of anything. It was specifics. Machines, Machines metals, everything. It went through the struggle of being hit. And oh, he even get this. Someone had to dig this stuff out. Mm. It was a struggle. From right? the bottom, but yeah. Mm. Going with God. There's always hardships and struggles. Mm. But mm. it's meant to build you up, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 I, th- I think on my side... Um, wait for your time. Really, really wait for your time. Your time will come. David had to wait until he could become king because uh, so so wanted his his head. Wanted him dead. He had to wait. Every you know? man, David knew he was anointed, but waited. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you, you thank also, you. Talking about David, there's also Joseph. Yes, ah, Joseph guys. waited all those years until he became the Shoot. prince of yes. Egypt. I guess and another example, one. Example of my point. Yeah, he went through a struggle. A struggle, and you want to wake up will be the president. <laughs> the struggle yes, was the president. You don't have to go far. Mel the v, struggle v, was the blessing. It took us years to yes. be where we are right mm. now, man. And yeah. it's a lot of hard work and stuff. But mm. yeah, definitely. Most definitely. So, I'll ask Ryan to pray for us in closing. Let us pray. Yeah. <coughs> Lord, we thank you for this wonderful time that you've given us. I ask that you may bless everyone, the viewers who are watching. That they may take something home from here. Mm. That it may bless them, Lord. 
Thank you for all that you have done for us up to this point and that you may bless others who watch this podcast, that they may learn something fruitful, Lord. Thank you for everything that you have given us. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Guys, don't forget, you can hit us, you can hit me up if you have any questions or either of them. Our Instagrams will be in the link down below or either on the screen. But yeah, we'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yes. Next episode, we're going deeper. Deeper. Going deeper. <laughs> deeper <papa. laughs> yeah, so right, we'll bye, guys. You guys. Bye.